Welcome. I hope you've enjoyed our workshop on our germination and healing chamber. Now we've made some improvements because of some leakage issues we had with the humidifier. Part of the uh, deal with the germination chamber behind me is that we are able to control the humidity in it and so it's important we have a constant supply of water and a uh, working humidifier to be able to supplement any of the humidity that might come up from the tray at the bottom. So really the basic problem is that we originally had a household humidifier, this particular one, which was leaking not because of the manufacturer's problem but because we had done some modifications to it uh, here and here for self-feeding the water into the tank. Even when they were corrected and totally sealed and the vacuum effect of having this tank on top of the uh, reservoir here was all the same as it was when the thing was unmodified, there were still some leakage issues. And some of that was also from our water feeding system that we set up here to feed the tank. And some of it was from the fact that on, on these fittings here, you really can't get a completely tight grip because the, the plastic just can't take the pressure. So we did have some vacuum leakage issues and the leakage uh, drips down the walls and fills up this to a point of overflow, which not only uh, fairly shuts down the mist making capabilities, but also creates problems in the interior here. And I can show you here real quick what, what it looks like. We don't really want to have corroded electronics uh, it's perfectly safe. I mean, the 110 volt supply is not at risk, but it, it still eats away at the interior here, sets it to a point where it just doesn't really work. The generator, the, the thing that makes the mist is this part here, and then the controls are here and the voltage drop. This, this drops it from 110 volts to 24 volts DC, so it's perfectly safe uh, if, if it gets wet. Uh, but even though it's safe that it gets wet, it, it won't work after a while if it gets wet. And here's a fan that uh, blows the mist so it can come through the tubes here and then into the chamber itself. But if you can see close up here, so you can see the green residue, green corrosion on the circuit board here, and there's a few solid state components here that just can't take that kind of humidity over time. Really, it was probably a year or so before it actually was a problem, but that's not good enough. We don't want to be replacing a $60 unit every, every year for this. So what I did was come up with a, a better solution, and really much simpler. After a few experiments with, with a float in here to actually reset the uh, height and lower the pressure, we had it operating at a very low um, water level, but even then there were some issues. I did want to point out that we had a vacuum breaker here, so when the, when the unit was filled, this is a little valve with a, with a marble in here. It just, it's an acrylic marble. It just, um, when the unit was filled, all the pressure escapes from here, and then when it's to its top, the marble falls down and seals everything. But even then, it just still leaked too much. So what I did was went online and found essentially what is a mist generating machine, which is traditionally used in Halloween type effects like cauldrons that are bubbling over for witches and in reptile enclosures where they need a certain amount of humidity for the reptiles, herbal infusions. There's just a lot of different reasons for this particular unit, but it's a real nice $29 piece of equipment that essentially just makes mist through this little 24 volt feed that comes off a 110 volt transformer. So you plug this into your power supply, plug this end into the 12 volt generator, and then this gets put into a float, which you don't need to buy, but they happen to give you one anyway, so it doesn't matter. This sits in there, and this thing floats at the proper level. So they generally want about one half to one inch of water above the generator head here. So that's the top of the, the head right there. And the wire, we snake through the wall of the um, chamber in there, and it just generates a mist and goes up. We have one installed in there now, so I can show you what that looks like. Now you see we have some starts working now, and there is a single generator in there, and the mist is, is pretty good, actually. It's, uh, it could be um, raised up a little bit, but I believe when we get the second one in there, it's going to make enough mist to fill the entire chamber so the top rack will get uh, just as much as the bottom as far as humidity. The uh, power source for the mist generator is, is 
right here, this little transformer cube, and that converts the 110 volt uh, household supply into 24 volt DC, which is a totally safe uh, electrical source in case anything got wet or if you stuck your hand in there or whatever. Um, as we talked about in, in the first uh, part of the workshop, the, uh, this whole circuit, this whole plug, is controlled by a uh, humidity controller, which we set up here to whatever we want. So if we want it at 55 relative humidity, we set that, and this plugs will be activated and available with electricity until it reaches that 55 RH point. If we want it at 85, we just push the buttons, make it go up to 85, and this will operate until it hits 85, and then it shuts it off. So these generators in the water tub will shut off whenever the limit is reached on this little microprocessor up here. You know, they'll need a rest every once in a while. I mean, they recommend about an hour for every 24 hours, but they will go continuously for quite a while. When you purchase the kit there, they give you additional three generators. These things, you know, may last months and months and months uh, or longer, but um, you still have some backup replacement uh, wearing parts uh, if you need them. So it's a, it's a pretty good buy for $29. And the beauty of the whole thing is that the water tub is always full of water. There's a, a float in there that, uh, that needs to be full of water. So the generators operate off of that water instead of a separate supply. So that works out perfectly. Okay, so with the new generators here, the mist is available and we can control it. And some of these um, starts need humidity at various uh, points in their lives. You know, we don't have to be watering them by hand uh, as much as you would in a normal situation. So it's really pretty much an automated system. So really for another investment of about 50 or $60. And, and by the way, these can be purchased for $7.95, I think, if you look around uh, online. Uh, for 50 or 60 bucks, you can get a good upgrade, and it's reliable and hands-off kind of thing. It's just an automatic system. So it's, it really works out good for the update on the chamber. <laughs>